Family, we're going to be watching this interview between Tasha K and Woe Vicky. And throughout the interview, we're going to get to realize and see how there's actually spiritual warfare going on just through the conversation alone. The fact that Woe Vicky has faith in Jesus and God is actually rubbing Tasha K the wrong way. So what does she end up trying to do? First thing, she ends up trying to, trying to convince Woe Vicky that she's nervous when she showed no signs of nervousness. That's probably because Tasha K was nervous. And then she ended up trying to tell Woe Vicky that she is the devil and God at the same time. So now understanding that, you'll get to realize like, yo, where is she getting this information from? Because it doesn't sound true. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, but something like that is is very much so demonic teaching. Telling someone that they're God and telling someone that they're the devil at the same time. The devil is the devil and wants to be God at the same time. So that's the way I'm interpreting it. But look it, we're going to watch this full on through. Make sure you do smash the like button. Let's get straight into this. Yeah. Okay. All the answers are online. Okay. Yeah. You seem nervous. No, I'm not. You're not nervous? Uh -uh. Okay. Yeah. I hope I'm not making you nervous. No, you're not. Because I know it's it's it can be nerve wracking a total stranger, somebody you've never met, asking you all these questions, even though I know you've done interviews before. But um I really wanted the viewers to really see, you know, you which will be hard because you are a Pisces. There's many layers to you. Mm -hmm. Okay. So being that now you found God. There's many layers to every human being on this earth. Just got to make that clear. It ain't because there's two Are you regretful of how you rose to fame so quickly? Does that bother you? No, everything happens for a reason. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So um, when you do have kids, mm -hmm. what will you tell them when they find videos of of mom and people are saying a lot of bad things about mom? How will oh, you by that time, that? ain't nobody going to be saying nothing bad about me. You don't think so? No, nah, I know so. Okay. But I'm not I'm not worried about that, honestly. I don't know. I deal with that when the time comes, but I don't think that's nothing I'm gonna have to worry about. Okay, why not? Cause um, like I said, nobody's gonna be saying nothing bad about me by that time. Okay. Yeah. So you have a totally different trajectory lined out for your life. Like so you you the way I mean, of course, I don't expect mm -hmm. you to be the same person you are at seventeen mm -hmm. at 30, but what are your plans going forward? Um, I got the skincare line. Um, I got I actually uh, got a clothing line just dropped. And uh, I want to do something. Like, I love kids. I love helping kids. love going to church. Um, I'm going to get married soon. I'm, oh. I'm speaking into existence. Oh, I was going to say, are you engaged? <laughs> nah. But I, got some, I got somebody I like, though. I'm just speaking into existence. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. He loved God, too. That's why I like him. Okay. Because I met him two years ago, like two, three years ago. We did a video, but he was not, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's like I wouldn't have never took him serious back then. But like now he loved God. Like I ain't going to lie. Like I was starting to fall off my track with God. Mm -hmm. And this is adding that also answers your question. He kind of um, got me back on track. Like he teach me stuff. I stopped cussing because of him. I noticed you haven't cursed yeah. the entire time. Yeah. It was hard. It took me, it took me like a month to, to get used to that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else that you want to change about yourself? No. But I never wanted to stop cussing because I, I, I told him, like, I don't see the reason. Like, I understand it's a sin. Okay. But I, don't, I don't know why. Okay. You know what I mean? I don't know why. So he sent me this video. Yeah, that's, that's something I, I made. I took mental note of myself that I don't I don't want to curse anymore, honestly speaking, because it's like, at least in this time of my life, just for the fact that we don't need to, and it's literally called a curse, and you could just widen your vocabulary, like you can express yourself using different words not having a curse. And it informed me on why. So it's like, so it's like, now that I know, you know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. So you don't feel he's trying to change you? No, not at all. Okay. He's just trying to inform me because it's like, it's like, I love God. He loved God. He's just trying to help me out. Because like okay. I told him, I said, I know it's a sin, but I don't know why. So I'm going to keep doing it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you're not 
running from anything or trying to hide or anything. Because a lot of times when people do um, develop deep, deep relationships like that, it's because they're trying to find solace and peace because there's turbulence. Mm -mm. No. No. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I mean, if you say so, I mean, like I was 21 once and I know life can be hell. I was a broke 21 as opposed to you. Mm -hmm. But I mean, you know, being broke versus having money, we still have the same problems. And, you know, you were living a lot of life um, mm -hmm. at such a young age and, you know, taking care of your family and stuff. So um, that affecting you, um, I mean, that's that's not out of the ordinary. Well, oh, no, nah, no, nah. it's I'm I'm good. You sure? Yes. yes okay. I noticed you keep looking back at your uh, your friend. Oh yeah, like a few times. Why? Um, probably just what I was talking about. He know about it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You need reassurance? No. <laughs> no. Uh -uh. I mean, it's okay if you do. You're twenty. You're twenty one. <laughs> I mean, no, it's just probably what I was talking about. He knew about it. That's why I looked at him. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are you afraid to let people, um, are you afraid to be vulnerable on the internet? On the internet? Yeah, or just in public? Are you afraid to be vulnerable? Is that why you you need someone to reassure you? Um, I don't think I'm afraid. I talk about a lot of stuff on TikTok. Okay. Yeah. I've seen your TikTok, but I still feel like there's a lot that you want to say, but because the persona is out there. Mm -mm, I say anything. It's contradicting. No, I mean, I, I don't, I don't doubt that you say anything. <laughs> I mean, I won't say uh, anything. I mean, I say anything. I just sometimes I just don't know what to say. It's like it, I'd rather like somebody gotta ask me. I don't sometimes, like I do ask God sometimes. Like God, what should I say uh, to these people um, so they could like you know use me? I be telling God use me. Like, let your light shine through me. Let me bless somebody through you. Mm -hmm. So it's like, if I talk about it, it's because I want other people to know about God. But, yeah, sometimes I just don't know what to say. Like, I'm just, it's better if I have someone asking me. Like, if somebody asks me, like, hey, why did you do this? Then I can answer. Okay. Yeah. You believe God wants you to change? But, like, you see, like, and we're still, we're still going to hit the climax of the video. But you see how... Tasha K is almost asking multiple times, you sure you don't need reassurance? Why can't she just be secure in God? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You like, there's freedom in Christ. You're freed from the shame and guilt. Like you feel secure. And it's like you have her constantly saying, You sure you don't need reassurance? And it's like if both of you said no, then it's no. Like, what are you gonna what are you gonna try to do after that? I'm I'm good now. Okay. I mean, he wants me to be. I I want I want God to help me be the woman, the woman of God He called me to be. What if you are already that? Then then then, then I'm doing I'm doing it right. Okay. Yeah. As well, I, I noticed too is sometimes you know the church Justin Bieber went through it. Mm -hmm. A lot of people go through it, especially celebrities in their journeys. And I I I noticed that, you know, it's it's like they come in and they try to brainwash. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. Who? People like yourself, like me. What, the church? Yeah. Oh, no, nah, I don't agree with that. You don't? No. Nah. Okay. Yeah. Why is that? Um, I believe in the Bible. Okay. So anything the Bible says, I agree with it. Okay. Because mm -hmm. the, the Bible is God's word. Okay. Have you read the entire Bible yet? No, nah, not the entire Bible. Okay. Yeah. So you know there's a lot of strong contradictions in the Bible. I'm not here to challenge your faith. Like what? Your, your faith is your spiritual, mm -hmm. is your spiritual relationship with God. It's going to start getting spicy, but I just want to touch on this topic real quick. She's talking about brainwashing. This is the thing. There's two different ways of thinking. You can think as the world thinks or you can think as God thinks and adopt his way of thinking and his view of the world. That's why it says in Romans 12 too, do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. It's not brainwashing. What brainwashing is, is when you look on different billboards and you have constant music in your radio being shoved down your ear talking about murder, death, and killing all the time. And when you watch different videos, music videos, and they have booty, that's brainwashing. 
You feel what I'm saying? Someone's actually making the conscious decision to go to church and read the Bible to have their mind renewed in a more fresh and clear way of viewing the world. This is, just realize the battle was going on here. But, you know, a book is another thing. Now, so so yeah. now she's hitting on a topic that the Bible has its contradictions. Let's see if she gives and points out any contradiction that she says exists in the Bible. Strong contradictions in the Bible. I'm strong. not here to challenge your faith. Like what? Strong your, your is the word is she your used. Spiritual, mm -hmm. Is your spiritual relationship with God. But, you know, a book is another thing. Mm -hmm. And so um, being that you are so young and you have your entire life ahead of you, mm -hmm. I just, you know, hearing you talk about God so much, mm -hmm. it's coming across as if you are using it as a, um, as protection. So what Vicky just asked, what are the contradictions? And she never answered it. Come on, Tasha. Using it as a, um, as protection. No. I mean, it's just me. Okay. What do I need to be protected from? I mean, the devil, yeah. But you do know physically the, you know, uh, you know, they talk about a lot of things in the spirit realm, but, you know, the devil is you and the devil in God is you. You do know huh? No. Yeah. Because in order to know good, you have to know bad. So you have to do bad things and make mistakes in order to learn. Oh, Otherwise, yeah. that's not. I and know so, that we was all born into sin. Yeah. I, I wouldn't call it sin. I would. Why? Because um, that's what it's saying in the Bible, and that's what Adam and Eve did. Okay. Yeah, because... Um, the devil, he came, he uh, told her, like, just go ahead and eat the apple. She ate it, and she had uh, Eve eat it. And then they got kicked out of eating. At first, like, it was perfect. Like, mm -hmm. uh, what's it called? Uh, eating, it was perfect. It was, like, the place God made for them. It was, like, a beautiful place. All the food tastes good then. He said, just don't eat from here. Then, you know, the devil, like like you said, the devil, he was he was there. Because, you know, he got cast down from heaven. So he was he was there on earth and he told him like, Yeah, just just eat it, you know, temptation. That's that's what you said, bad stuff. We mm -hmm. all get tempted every day. Well, I mean, it's it's a part of who we are. Mm -hmm. It's 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 a must do. And so, um, you know, because I have studied a lot about theology and spirituality and mm -hmm. you know, who actually wrote the Bible and how was it written and, mm -hmm. you know, challenging the facts on how do they know exactly what happened at that moment? Because we do have uh, the Quran. Mm -hmm. are, you, are you familiar with the Quran? Yeah. Okay. My brother Muslim. Uh, okay. And then mm -hmm. we have, um, you know, uh, uh, you know, Buddhism, mm -hmm. the Lotus Sutra, mm -hmm. which teaches peace and the um and it's more internal it's not more so external it, mm -hmm. you know buddhism teaches you you know what's that you are in control mm -hmm. not some other factor out there controlling you not a devil you know not god because you are all you encompass it all and so mm -hmm. when you know that mm -hmm. is when you'll 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 start to see real change in your life because it's you accepting in that moment that I am who I am because of the choices that I made, mm -hmm. yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, this is a very different world, Vicky, from, you know, watching your video. The thing about that worldview, though, you still have, like, like, who created you? How'd you get your mind? You know, like, how'd you get your thinking mind? You didn't create it. You get what I'm saying? Like, you didn't create the mountains and the sun and the valleys and all that and seeing your growth mm -hmm. i'm not and this is no diss to you mm -hmm. only because i got a lot more age on you mm -hmm. i feel that this is a it's a phase it's a safe space for you and you know human beings mm -hmm. there's a lot more to us than just a conversation about god mm -hmm. you know because god whether you you want to acknowledge it or not is the reason why you are who you are. Mm -hmm. Not the devil. 
Well, I know. You know? Yeah, he gave me life. Right. God, not the devil. He gave you your mother. Yeah. He gave your father. He gave you your personality. He gave you your character. Mm -hmm. Everything. And so, um, and he gave us free will, but we have to... We oh, yeah. have to know that that's internal. why he loves us so much. That's why he gave us free will. Because God is love. He loves us. What if I told you you are God? Oh, no, nah, I'm not. Why? I'm just not God. Why are you not God? Do you not think you're worthy? Oh, I am worthy, but I'm not God. But what if I truly told you that there is research to back up that you are God? I'm not God. Guys. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Twenty, bro, like, end of twenty twenty, getting twenty twenty one. I had that new age mentality of like, yo, I'm God. I create my own thing, you know what I'm saying. And then, when a storm hits, you feel what I'm saying, and you can't exactly fix it. And you're like, yo, if I'm God, why would this be happening to me? I should just be able to snap my fingers and this shouldn't be happening to me. I'm God. I control everything. Because that's what God is. I feel like in situations like that, reality should sit and sink in. Like, yo, I'm not God. And everyone's went through that. She even goes, like, everyone goes through it. So... I'm, I make those faces not not judging at all because honestly I had a similar mentality before and I'm glad that I came to the realization of God and the Creator, but it's the deception, yeah. And she's like trying to put it on her. But this is a good conversation. I truly told you that there is research to back up that you are God. Research. I'm not God. So you don't, you don't believe that you have the power to move your life the way that you want it moved. Yeah, by taking. following God, by following God. You have free will. I do. But you move. But it. I'm not God because when 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 we when when we all die, and he and he telling us, um, giving us judgment, I'm not God. <laughs> I'm not about to judge you, judge you, judge you. I'm not God. There it is. I can't, I don't judge. I can't, I'm not the one that's gonna say, yeah, come up here or go down there. I'm not God. So you believe in heaven and hell outside? I told you I believe everything that's in the Bible. Okay. But you also said you didn't read the Bible. I didn't read all of it, but okay. I study it. So that's the part. That's the hard part to face. Because many religions believe in the spirit. We understand that our physical body well, the first people made came from God, and our physical body comes from our mortal parents. But not our spirit. Where does our spirit come from? The giver of life, Father God. And he, at the end of the day, determines, you know what I'm saying? If we accept him, we could accept him, or we could reject him. If we reject him, then we won't be with him. If we accept him, then we'll be with him. And that's, what, that's where the free will really comes into play. So... The point of bringing up death is where I feel, again, reality should be sinking in. Because it's like, okay, I didn't give myself my spirit. You get what I'm saying? <clears throat> okay. All right. It's uh, Like, I didn't give myself study, life. But you also said you didn't read the Bible. I didn't read all of it, but okay. I, I study it. Okay. All right. It's, um, you know, it's pretty... It's a pretty uh, um, uneasy space, and mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie. The interview is um, is not what I expected, mm -hmm. you know. And I feel that there is a lot that you are um, internalizing and holding back, and you have every right. I've, I've seen, like I said, I've seen your evolution on the internet. I've seen the bad things that has happened. I've seen. Um, you know, the fights that you've had with, with other creators, um, you know, I've seen it all. Mm -hmm. And to see you in a space now, I'm glad that you are in a space of mm -hmm. internal uh, spiritual reflection. Mm -hmm. But I, I feel that um, your conversation would be very different in a couple of years. Okay. You know, so. Um, Anything else you want to?
No, you good? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, and um, congratulations on your skincare line. Thank you. Yes. Congratulations on your clothing line. Did she just end the interview because they didn't agree? <laughs> Bro, they were really, they were having a conversation. I believe whoa, Vicky was giving her part perfectly fine. Like she, I don't, it didn't seem like she was holding anything back. So now, <clears throat> looking at this from a logical standpoint, whoa, Vicky gave her part, she gave her beliefs. And she expressed how she felt and what she believed. We all just saw it go down. And then we also have Tasha K that gave, gave her opposing beliefs, which is fine. It's perfectly... Humans have different beliefs. She called the space uneasy and had to end the entire thing because of the disagreement. So now, is it because of the disagreement? Or is it because demons inside of her are getting agitated and irritated from her belief in God? That she's she's unwavering on her faith right now. That's that's all that that's all that went down in this situation. You know what I'm saying? The only thing that went down was her not faltering on what she believes on her faith in God. That was the only thing. And Tasha K ended up getting irritated to the point where she has to end the entire interview. That's crazy. I didn't know how this ends, but tss, this is how it ends. That's that should just show a lot. That is just it's beyond. And, I should show a lot, yeah. Almost seem like the spirit of the Antichrist and all that. Talking about, and she brought the brainwashing point up too. <sighs> I get it. This is stuff we all we hear like from growing up. You know what I'm saying? Because you know people did use the Bible in bad ways. It's simple. You know what I'm saying? But that doesn't necessarily mean that's what the Bible teaches. The Bible doesn't teach to you to do things in bad ways. The Bible teaches peace, love forgiveness, being humble, you know what I'm saying? But we can leave that there. Comment down below any thoughts or opinions that have popped up in your mind about this interview right here, y'all. All right, I love you guys. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Peace.